going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome to God's View. Hello and welcome to God's View. We're so glad you joined us. Please get your favorite drink. Join us around the table. We got a phenomenal subject, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. And I love that scripture. And I know that many of you do. And we will read it. But right now, I just want to uh, let you know, please call the prayer lines. 307-637. Pray that 7729 while we're going through the program because I don't want you to go through things alone. Again, I make people... Um, know this, that we do not ask you for any information. You want to give us your name, that's fine. Um, we will not solicit you the next month. We just want to come in agreement with you and see your breakthrough. See something happen in your situation, okay? Because some people don't even know what breakthrough means. If you're just tuning in and you don't know the Christianese, <laughs> the way yeah. we all talk, they don't know. And that just means that God's going to shift your situation, come in and do something. So please call them while we're going through the program. I'm Charlene back to Marion, uh, your God's View host. We have Stephanie Bash, and Priscilla Pruitt, and Lana Gardner. And we are a team, and we love doing these programs because you know, we get just as much out of it. And when there's people in our audience, oh, yeah. we only have a couple people today, but you know, when there's people in the audience, it helps too because it kind of riles you. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yay, yay, yay. And so, anyways, <clears throat> we, you know, we, we waited for an audience for a while, you know, and now yeah. we have a little amen corner over there, and we're yes. so excited. <laughs> yeah. So oh, I just keep good. forgetting to invite people, but I will. <laughs> I just keep come saying, on. come on over. Okay. Yep. Anyways, we want to get right on with the program. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm going to read out of the, and if somebody could pull it up in oh, NIV it. or King James or anything, you got it too. Okay. Oh, Amplified's great mm -hmm. too. But I want to read it out of the Passion. I love the Passion. Mm -hmm. Now, if anyone is enfolded into Christ, he has become an entirely new person. Mm -hmm. Boy, isn't that the truth? Can't yes. we all yes. 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 Amen. Holy Holy God, amen. amen. I mean, I'm a totally new person. Mm -hmm. We don't walk the same. We, we don't, don't talk the same. We don't look we don't. the same. You get cleaned <laughs> up, yeah. So all that is related to the old order has vanished. Mm -hmm. it says, behold. Oh, well, let me see. It won't turn. Excuse me. Behold, everything is fresh and new. Yes. And God has made all things new and reconciled us self us to himself and given us the ministry of reconciling others to God. So okay, once yes. we are born again and once oh. we know the revelation of uh, 2 Corinthians 5, 17, now we are accountable yes, to cause right. reconciliation right. yes. for others to know Jesus. Right. Yes, yes. And I say this uh, periodically, um, we we buy the new wine with the old. You have to give up the old for yes, the new yes. wine. Mm -hmm. That means any kind of um, attitudes. Uh, mm -hmm. But when we're talking about this, all things new and all old gone, we're talking about literally mm -hmm. your life. You're giving your life mm -hmm. for right. his. You're exchanging. Because when you got born again, you had an experience, okay? You experienced Jesus. But then now you have a journey. And along that journey, yeah. there's every day of a repentance for something or a change of something. God comes in and says, oh, I don't like that in your life. And, mm -hmm. and then you guys work those things out. Mm -hmm. But it's always fun. God always makes this life mm -hmm. an enjoyable journey yeah. because otherwise he wouldn't have said it's the joy of the Lord that gives mm -hmm. you strength. Yeah. There's joy in God. Amen. The joy that you've never felt unspeakable, full yes. of glory, full of his glory. Yeah. I'll Amen. tell you, you will never be the same yeah. once you have experienced 2 Corinthians mm -hmm. 5, 17. I love it. Right. And there's some people out there thinking, hey, I like myself. I like the way I am. <laughs> I don't want to change. You have no idea what right. God could do for you. Amen. That's Amen. Right. That's it's right. staggering. I, I just think it's so amazing how much God loves us and how much he cares that he would be a father that sent his son to die on the cross to change the way we are in our everyday living. And it says in Lamentations that his mercies are new every morning. So Amen. if you're thinking, mm. I know the Lord, okay, so if the old has passed away and I've become new, how in the world do I do this? Mm -hmm. And literally every day you get up and you say, you know what, Lord, you told me in your word 
that the old has passed away and I have become new. Yes. So I'm going to stand on that. I'm going to declare that over my life. And and as we all know, when you declare the Word of God, it is alive and active. Oh. It is alive and active, and it comes alive in you through the yes. Holy Spirit. And when that. you receive that, you receive the Spirit of Truth. Amen. And when the Spirit of Truth comes, you also, with the Holy Spirit, you get the Helper, you get the Counselor. Amen. And He begins to speak mm -hmm. to you. So even those old dreams and visions that were of the world, all of a mm -hmm. sudden you're like, I don't care for that anymore. That, or that's really? funny. That doesn't taste good anymore. Or you know, I don't want to do that same addiction anymore. I, my life is new. Or the yeah. movie. Yes. Yeah. You've yes. got to you see don't this see movie. The it's the best movie. And then you go to see it again. You go, I like yes. that. Absolutely. Yes. <laughs> the yes. old is literally shut That's off. God. Yeah. And he says, you have become a new creation. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, when he breathed into our nostrils and he called our name, we became who, he, you know, fearfully and wonderfully made and mm -hmm. who he called us to be. But then when we receive him, we're of age and we can receive him to be, um, have him as our savior and then become that new. Mm -hmm. It just is from the inside out. Mm -hmm. It's like transfiguration, the way Jesus showed, um, you know, Peter, Paul and John. We have yes. a transfiguration Amen. and it's just shed off. We can't, yeah. we can't stay the same. I love how the Amplified Bible talks about grafting and it says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, that is grafted in him, joined to him by faith as savior, he is a new creation born and renewed by the Holy Spirit. Old things, the previous moral and spiritual condition have passed away. Behold, mm -hmm. new things have come because spiritual awakening brings new life. Mm -hmm. But yes. I love how it talks about being grafted and uh, a lot of people don't really know what that means but grafting is yeah. like a technique where they join two plants as one and basically a wound or a breaking has happening yeah. has happened in one of the plants so let's call that plant Jesus it's been broken and cut and the other plant and let's say that's you and me is literally joined together and almost like yeah. band-aid yes. right. together so as one and inserted into that broken so the two can grow together and that's what it means to be grafted into Jesus. And so once we are into Jesus, and like it says in the word, if he abides in us and we abide in him, we will bear much fruit. It's yeah. so amazing mm -hmm. to yeah. think about. Yeah. And it's amazing to me that the person who wrote this scripture yeah. is Paul. Right. I Paul, was right? That. Because mm -hmm. of course, yeah. you know, God would use a vessel like Paul who literally was out there chasing Christians down, hunting them, yes. beheading yes. them, torturing yes. them, yeah. who hated. And so Paul is a perfect example of what this verse means. Mm -hmm. He was a scholar. He knew the Torah. He hated, um, he knew the Torah. He knew the, the first five books of the Bible by memory, but he hated the followers of Christ. He hated Christians. Yeah. He would hunt them, torture, behead them. Yes. But one day on the road to Damascus, suddenly he has this, encounter with mm -hmm. Jesus and the old creature is gone. That old Saul is completely right. and forever changed. Mm -hmm. And he became one of the greatest apostles, yeah. wrote two thirds of the New Testament. And so to me, when I think about this scripture, I think about Paul who wrote it. And I'm like, that is literally what this scripture means yeah. to become a new That's creation. That's right. You know, God gave me revelation knowledge about this this morning. And, and he said, well, I, it's always troubled me why the Bible said that we're not to call anyone else father. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's because of this. Mm -hmm. It's because God is our father. We have his DNA. Mm, we yeah. no longer have the DNA of our, right. of our four forefathers. That's good. Yeah, that that we that yeah. we have earthly daddies mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we love right. them and we cherish them, mm -hmm. we thank them for raising yeah. us. Mm -hmm. But there's no one our father now that we're born yes. again, it's our father in heaven. Yes. And there's no one like him. That's How right. dare we call anyone else father? Is that mm -hmm. awesome? Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I just love that. You know, it's like championship race horses that when they're bred, they are bred for their DNA, for for their for their line. They'll choose all the greatest, the strongest, the fastest horses and put them together. And so they're chosen for their DNA. Well, we now mm -hmm. have the That's DNA good. of a champion. Yes. How dare we ever say, I can't get over this addiction? Are you kidding? 
you know who lives in you? And like yeah. Priscilla said, we are grafted in. When we are grafted mm -hmm. in, after a while, after that Band-Aid, so to speak, goes, mm -hmm. you can't see the difference. You can't. Why? We are one with Jesus yeah, Christ, right. yes. the Father, the Son, the Old Holy gone. Spirit, and yeah. you, one. Yeah. Preach it, Lana. Yeah. 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 Yo, 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 Let me, you know what, and so we're talking about new because all old, you're exchanging um, yourself for the new. Mm -hmm. All the old's going. And one of the verses I love, and um, I'm going to read it, I won't quote it to you. Um, the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Lamentations 3.22. Yeah. And, you know, that's the thing with God. You may have had, um, you know, uh, really, like, say you come to the Lord and, and you've experienced 2 Corinthians 5.17, okay? And all old's gone, all new's come, all those kinds of things. But then, like, you just have this crazy day, unbearable day, mm -hmm. and you're just feeling like, oh, you know, but this great is his love. It's never ending. Great is his faithfulness. It's new every morning. So each day you get up, it's like um, the, um, oh, what, what flower is it? I'm going to think in a minute, but um, I think it's one of the lily uh, fields. Um, and at night, that lily, closes up it catches the dew it opens in the morning and catches all the dew from heaven and then at night it spits out all that old it closes mm -hmm. up and then it opens up again for oh. the dew of heaven mm -hmm. each morning and see that's wow. what we do that's, that's what we do that flower just spits out that old yes. dew from heaven and then god gives us new dew Amen. every morning because yes. great is his faithfulness mm -hmm. and his love endures forever and it talks about perfect love casting out all fear yeah. absolutely Absolutely the truth because right now even one of our guests uh, you know faith over fear mm -hmm. and right mm -hmm. now yes. a lot of people need to operate in faith <laughs> over fear okay because there's a lot of that going on but when we're new and we're a new creature in him yeah. all that old those those old uh, habits, the, the old manner of thinking, right. like the stinking thinking. You may start thinking something, well, you just catch that thought and you take captive that thought That's and right. bring it to the obedience of Christ yes. because great is his faithfulness. And I want to remind you right here, when you're new in the Lord and we're talking about 2 Corinthians 5, 17, you know, um, even though the old has passed away, everybody says, well, if the old's passed away, why is it? Well, because there is a devil, and that devil is constantly making you condemn yourself or making you think you thought something awful. But it's his thoughts that he's bringing into yeah. your mind, and that will help you because some people are shocked. How could I even think of that? This is horrible. Well, because the devil put that there, and it's mm -hmm. your job yeah. now just to take captive the thought, That's bring right. it to the obedience, cleanse yourself from all defilement, and if that's what you feel you need to do and uh, move on because great is his faithfulness. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's not Amen. something we have to do. It's not something we have to strive exactly. for. Exactly. Mm -hmm. A lot of people think that it's, um, you know, when they become a Christian that they have to act a certain way, dress a certain way, and they mm -hmm. think it's this works thing. But it's, it's actually not. nothing we do. The Holy Spirit does right. it in us. It says that he makes us new. Yes. Right? It yes. says right. in the version I was reading, I it says that wonder, reborn and renewed <laughs> by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. It's not something right. that we strive for or have to exactly. do. Exactly. It just happens. <clears throat> yes. Well, well and I love, yeah. oh, go ahead. I love in Psalms 103 where it says, you know, for as high as the heavens are above the earth, so great is his steadfast mm -hmm. love towards those who fear him. Mm -hmm. As far as the east is from the west, yes. so mm -hmm. far does he remove our transgressions from us. Amen. And I just felt like as we were talking, somebody's yeah. like, but you don't understand where I've been or what I've done. Mm -hmm. And he tells us right there that when we become a new Amen. creation, when, <laughs> like, like Saul to Paul, yeah. like we talked about, that it is as far as the east is from the west. We go back to the cross where Jesus shed the blood, yeah. took every sin, disease, addiction. Yeah. I don't care what yes. you've been through or what you've done or what was done to you. Mm -hmm. Jesus paid the price yes. and we received the yes. benefits, it <coughs> says also in, in Psalms 103, mm -hmm. that he forgave all of those. So you don't have to carry it anymore. Mm -hmm. You are brand new. And, and when you go to look for it, 
it says in the word that it is unrecoverable, unrecoverable, yeah. basically, that, that once you ask for forgiveness and you repent, when you go back and you bring it up, bring it up, the Father is saying, I don't know what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. My son, my daughter, you are a new creation. Amen. Because yes. the devil's yeah. always bringing a false word. Yeah. You've got to realize there's yeah. there's two voices out there always, the enemy yes. and God's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And there's a real roar and there's a false roar. And what Priscilla said, I really loved about performing. Once once you, you, you don't have to perform. No, you once you get born again, mm -hmm. <clears throat> the, the word performs for you. It says, yes. my word will not yes. return void. Just no. as the snow and the rain falls to earth and soaks to earth and cannot return to heaven, so it is my mm -hmm. word that Amen. goes forth. It will not return void. It will accomplish that which I sent it forth over Amen. your life to do. So no longer do you have to perform. The word performs yes. for you. Yes. And because otherwise, like Priscilla said, you're over here in work. So if you ever feel like that, mm -hmm. you just feel like you just, you're, <clears throat> you're just a mess and you need to measure up, then that's the devil. Yeah, yeah. That's that's performance. Yes. That's a works orientated uh, thing. Now, will we be judged by our works? But that's a works, and the scripture says that plainly. That's a works of what we have done for the Lord. Yeah. Have we sat around? Did we feed the homeless? Yeah. Because yes. that's the kind of works that's talking about. But when you're trying to work and strive to perform something yes. God has already shed his blood and done, Amen. it's done. We have victory. We're seated yes. in heavenly places with yes. Christ Jesus. Hey, we, we've got the same authority, same everything. And what the devil does is come, and I say this so many times, and I think I said it over and over on TV networks when I was just in Atlanta, <clears throat> is that the devil's goal from the day you were in the womb conceived, because it's not just all of a sudden when you pop out. It was when, I knew you when you were in the womb. So everything is heard, your mom, your dad's voices, heaven's voices. So the day you were conceived, the devil's goal was to make you believe the truth is a lie and the lie is the truth. Yeah. And so that you, he always lies about you and always comes and causes you to try to perform and shift to be somebody else. And that's people's biggest battles yeah. mm -hmm. because then they right. look at, oh, I want to be like so yeah. and so because mm -hmm. I would be better because I'm a mess. No, God no. made you just the yeah. way you are and you are wonderful. You've exchanged your old for the new. Yeah. And now if you try to be somebody else, mm -hmm. you're going to equal a counterfeit of yourself and it equals no yeah, results. Right. You have to be who you are and then God can use you. And that's Amen. just behavior modification. Yes. It's not right. actually yeah. changing. It's that's behavior good. modification. Yeah. If you're right. modifying your behavior, there's no true heart change. Right. And yeah. therefore you're not a new creation. So I would even question that your your salvation was real mm -hmm. yeah. and actually encounter God mm -hmm. and, and yes. try to do that. You know, but so that thought, it's real but thoughts right. do produce a result. Yeah, and does. the devil just continues to put that thought in your right. mind to where you do question, hey, is God with me? Is God right. so they could but still I love, be born again? Yeah, the yeah. point that Stephanie brought up because there are people that say that their sin is so great, but I love that God used, and it's not by coincidence that he used Paul because Paul, right. he actually murdered some of his disciples, yeah. Jesus' he, disciples. He was yeah. there when Stephen was yes, he stoned Stephen. He's the reason yes. Stephen yeah, was stoned. Yeah, and they were all holding the cards yes. of Stephen. Yes. And yeah. so if God could use him, yeah. who tortured and murdered maliciously yes. these people that were innocent, of course he could use you. Right. Amen. Amen. Right. I love Amen. these R words when I was looking this up. It says that we are reformed. Yeah rehabilitated, re-educated, restored, That's and good. recreated to a new creation creature. Yes. And we begin a new life with our new master, Jesus Christ. Yes, we're, I love that. We're no longer under the curse. Yes. 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 When we get yes. redeemed, yes. what is the curse? Well, the when you go to the doctor, yeah. he asks you, you know, is your family line filled with cancer, heart disease, mm. all of those things, you're no longer under those curses. That's right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But of course, we've got to work that thing. Yes. And, and we have to study, study our spiritual bloodline. What? Jesus defeated the enemy at the cross. Mm -hmm. That's number one. But then there was Moses, who God used to part the Red Sea. So we have faith in our bloodline. Mm -hmm. uh, David slayed a giant, little mm -hmm. tiny <laughs> teenage d David slayed a big giant. Yeah. That means we have favor yes. in our mm -hmm. bloodline. Yeah, uh, Samson just 
push down the wall. Push down the wall uh, uh, of a huge yeah. building. That yeah. means yeah. we have strength and power in yes. our blood. Yes. Yes. That's yes. right. And, and Nehemiah, mm -hmm. he mm. built a wall in Jerusalem under the yes. worst circumstances imaginable. The ancient ruins yes. God had him. Absolutely. Yeah. And so what do we have through Nehemiah? We have promotion, abundance. Esther was willing to give mm -hmm. her life. Yes. We have courage. That's right. right. And Amen. Nehemiah, That's Nehemiah, I love, um, you know, I love all, I love everything that they all did, especially David slaying giants, because I'm a giant slayer. Yes. <laughs> they yes. better get out of my way and stay out of my way. But Nehemiah, for you that uh, are having a, a troubled time, maybe you were just born again, and the Second Corinthians 5.17 thing, some people call saying, I'm just having a hard time with this. Well, you got to remember that, that when Nehemiah was building that wall, he's called, we're called. Once you've been born again, you're called, you're commissioned, you're sent. The Holy Spirit was a sent one. Now you're a sent one. Bottom right. line. Mm -hmm. Just bottom line, you're sent. If you're, mm -hmm. you're, you have the Holy Spirit, you're sent. Mm -hmm. Well, Nehemiah, what happened? They had to have the fighters and the prayers, you know, mm -hmm. that they were fighting and doing battle, and then the warriors had the swords. But yeah. what would happen? Uh, Sanballat and Tobiah would come by every day. Yeah. If a fox walked on that yeah. wall, it would fall, mocking the things mm -hmm. of yes. God. And many of you kind experience, of like in politics. yes, yeah. <laughs> yeah. everything, everything mocks what has just yeah, happened so with true. you. And mockery, yeah. God says, mm. be careful because God will not be mocked because right. they're not mocking you; they're mocking God. Okay, mm -hmm. they're mocking what God has called you to do, and it's very difficult. We yeah. understand the walk of God can be difficult because once you get born again, the enemy is coming, and you know God just really does all these great things, doesn't He? When you're yeah. first born again, it's like He's always just doing all these great, <laughs> but He wants yeah. you to grow, and then you got to yeah, experience right. some of those things for a while. And so, but at first, when I was first born again, He just took care of everything. And I'm like, right. why can't yeah. you do that? Now? <laughs> yeah, no. yeah. You know, yeah. your Bible, and you're like, there's yeah. no answer. Yeah. Come in and he just rescues you because yeah. you're his baby yes. then. Yes. It's just like when a baby's starting to walk, they have yeah. to take steps and then they have to start talking. And so we're right there to help them every yeah. way. But once mm -hmm. you get a little bigger, God kind of like steps back and lets you kind of handle things because he gave you authority to do so. He gave you all the power, everything that you need, every tool yeah. that you need. So he's not going to just swoop in and do this thing. Like you've the got eagle. To grow. Throws yeah. you out of the yeah. nest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, throws you out and then <laughs> you're going to plop on the ground and daddy yeah. comes and picks it up and brings it back to the yeah. nest. And that's what he does, you know. Is this is a good this is a good topic. The good thing is that uh, God know, is no respecter of persons. Exactly. If he's done it for all of us. He <coughs> is able and willing and wants to do it for you. Do it you. for you. That's like right. he died specifically for you. And it's okay if you're questioning. Mm -hmm. It's okay if like Stephanie said, you're like, well, yeah, but he can't do that for me because my past is too great. My yeah. sins are too great. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. okay. That puts you in a good place where you mm -hmm. can ask the Lord. Lord, reveal yourself to me. Yes. Give me yeah. an encounter. Make yourself real to me. Yeah. He wants to. He's just at the door. He's a gentleman. He's just not knocking right. lightly, asking you, please mm -hmm. let me in. He's not going to barge in. He's a gentleman. So you just take that step and said, Holy Spirit, Father, if you're yeah. real, reveal yourself yeah. to me. Mm -hmm. And I promise you, He, he will. will. You know, because yes. God so set it so. up with choice. Yes. If we didn't have a choice, you know what I mean? That's why he gives you a choice. That's why he's not going to barge in because he gave you a choice. Mm -hmm. And if we all didn't have our choices, I, I would not. Would you like it if all of a sudden you knew your husband just had to love you? He had to love you. No. <laughs> oh, you know, he terrible. had no choice. He had no right. choice to be uh, no, kind. He true. just had everything no, was like Stepford wives. I mean, who would no. want it? That's no. why God gave us a choice no. from Genesis. I would be horrible. To maps, man. Yes. We, he gave us the authority. We have to use it. We have yeah. to come in agreement with heaven and see heaven manifest and kiss earth and, and just explode the things of God. We have, we all have a choice and I'm so thankful for that. Mm -hmm. And that's why if if you're, if you're listening today and you're not born again and we're talking about all this, you know, that's why what Priscilla means, he's not going to come in. No. Now, will he seek? Because he came to seek and save yes. the lost. Mm -hmm. He sought me till he got me. Yes. I, am so, <laughs> I am so grateful. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise the Lord and the angels sing. But 
he's and, and by the Holy Spirit every, everybody's drawn to the Father through the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is always out there drawing yes. you to truth mm -hmm. always out there okay we got a minute or so who wants to God go God says in the New Testament God <laughs> <laughs> you, you have to fight this group yeah. <laughs> God says in the New Can Testament that there's two kinds of people there's those who are born again and those who are not Amen and oh, those who good. are born again are going to heaven and those who are not Hell. <laughs> H-E double two picks. <laughs> Hell. Yeah. It is know, bad, it isn't is. it? No, it's Hell pretty is bad. bad. <laughs> yeah. but, but, but you want to be Christ-like. And when God looks at us, even though we're not totally renewed yet, he sees Obviously. Jesus. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, but good. you know what? We need to know that. It's true. Yes. We need to know the truth. There is a heaven. There is a hell. And, it's yeah. and if and you become a new cre creation. I knew she was going to heaven. And there's a bad place. Hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so crazy. God is so good. We have so much fun we doing these shows. So Listen, if you don't know him, we're giving you an opportunity right now to where all old can be gone and all new can come, just like it says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17. It's the truth. I know it happened to me, every one of us up here, and many of you at home. And so I just want to lead you in a prayer. Let's all, girls, let's keep a wide shot and all put our hands towards, because I believe today God wanted a lot of people saved when I was praying this a.m. So, Lord, as you're going through the nations, the globe, as we reach so many homes, today let that person fall on their knees and say, create in me a pure heart, renew a right spirit within me, call on the name of Jesus. Everybody who calls on his name will be saved. We are praying for you. You know, there's people out there that don't even have people praying for them, but you know what? God has called me to pray for all those that never had been prayed for or don't get prayed yes. for every day. Yes. And Amen. I call out your name and you may think you have nobody praying for you. This girl is, and I'm sure he's called a bunch of others to do yes. the same thing. Yes. And then Amen. get baptized with the Holy Spirit with fire. Yeah. If you just called on the name of Jesus and asked him to come into your heart and be the Lord of your life and forgive you of your sins, I tell you, he came in. He came in powerfully and things are going to start shifting and changing. And if you got baptized in the Holy Spirit with fire, you just ask for that. Get yes. your heavenly prayer language. Mm -hmm. It'll be your 911 mm -hmm. to God. Mm -hmm. Trust me, mm -hmm. things will change. Yeah. And then call the prayer line and tell us, tell us that you received Jesus today. 307-637-PRAY, yes. yes. that's 7729. Man, we love you. But Jesus, the word says that Jesus desires not one. The Father, Holy Spirit, Jesus desires not one to perish. Right. We can love you, but man, he really loves you, okay? So please, if you've done that, Tell somebody, if you don't want to call us, listen, we don't even have to ask your name, but if you don't want to call us, rejoice, because if you are ashamed of him, he will be ashamed of you before his father. That's what the word says. Mm. So anyways, tell somebody today. And then won't you go to our website? We need your help today, okay? You can get this anointing oil, and it's fabulous, smells good, and it's got this great oil, and uh, a pearl in there for your value, Rosa Sharon Cap, uh, for representation of Jesus. And it helps us keep going into your home and around the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. We have other things there, some books, and Lana's books are on there, mine. There's, I think there's stuff of Priscilla's. All of our stuff's on there. And uh, remember today, won't you, that God does have a view. God does have a view personally for you. It's only goodbye for today. We love you. Thank you for joining us. Remember, tell people about God's view. Mwah. Going around the globe for the gospel of Jesus Christ. Welcome.